Men should have the right to legally abort their children, just like women have had since Roe v. Wade, and for pretty much the same reasons. In fact, men should have 100% parity with women in reproductive rights, barring any physical limitation. As a little aside, you should read the actual decision. It's got very little to do with her body and lots more to do with her choice. In effect, this means that a woman can legally remove herself from parental responsibility, so should a man. This would mean there is functionally no time in which a man could not opt out of parenthood until he opts in, after which he cannot opt out anymore. Well, any more than a woman can. This removes the vast majority of child support advisors from the rules, I would imagine, which leaves us mostly with men that were married and thought they were going to have a family and men that wanted a family. Now, I know most of these guys are going to pay child support or buy things for their kids or both. I mean, there's nothing keeping this from happening. But the assumption is the person with the custody of the kids pays for the kids' things. If the woman has sole custody, she's got sole responsibility. If the situation that we all hope for arises, there will be a 50-50 actual time with the kids. And in that situation, again, no money should change hands. The reasoning? She is not entitled to the same standard of living, nor are the children, any more than the father is. If it's all about the money, give the kids to the higher income earner. If they share time, they each pay their own expenses. If one chooses to reduce their time with the kids, they can compensate the other parent for the additional costs. So, if we don't force men into fatherhood, and we give them equal time with their kids by default unless they choose otherwise, as well as equal responsibilities for upkeep of said children, where exactly is the need for enforced child support? In fact, I'll even go one further. Because if that comes to pass, it will mean that anyone who is paying child support either doesn't want to be around his kids or is unfit to see his kids. And the resulting shame will motivate some to rectify that situation. Hardly a negative consequence, if you ask me.